Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Dr. V. Jayakumar. I'm making lecture videos for the benefit of mechanical engineering students. If this is your first time and not yet subscribed, please do hit the subscription button and also the notification bell icon so that to get notified all my forthcoming videos. In this video, we are going to see the difference between rim type and disc type flywheel. In other words, why rim type flywheel is highly preferred over disc type flywheel. We all know that flywheels are used in machines where there are fluctuations in the input and the output power required. The purpose of the flywheel is to store mechanical energy which is stored in the form of kinetic energy. As you could see, the energy storing capacity of the flywheel is equal to half I omega square. So obviously, the energy storing capacity of the flywheel directly proportional to the its mass moment of inertia. If mass moment of inertia of the wheel is higher, then the energy storing capacity of that flywheel will be very high. There are two types of flywheels used. The first one being disc type and the second one is rim type. As you could see from the pictures, the difference is obvious. In rim type, the mass is distributed away from the center, which is nothing but the hub of the flywheel. The mass moment of inertia of the flywheel is equal to mk square. So it depends on mass and radius of gyration. Now shall we compare both disc type and rim type flywheels? So the important parameter is mass moment of inertia. So both are capable of producing mass moment of inertia. Since it depends on the value of m and k, same mass moment of inertia value can be obtained by two methods. The first method, I can have higher mass value and lesser k value, but I will get the same i value. That is the logic that is involved in the design of disk type. The second option, we will obtain the same i value by having lesser mass of the flywheel, but with higher radius of gyration. That is the logic involved in the rim type. Can you guess which one would be the better? As a rule of thumb in mechanical design, component having lesser mass is always preferred. So rim type flywheel having lesser mass is a preferred design. Now can we support the logic mathematically? We know I equal to mk square is the formula. For a disc type flywheel, the radius of gyration is given by d by 2, where d is the mean diameter. So substitute in the formula, we will get it i equal to m disc d square by 8. Whereas for a typical rim type, the radius of gyration may be given as d upon 2 root 2. So substituting that formula in the same i equation, I would be getting i is equal to m rim d square by 4. Compare both mass moment of inertia. For the same mass moment of inertia and the same diameter of the flywheel, obviously mass of the rim type flywheel requires just half of the mass of the disc type flywheel. The same logic can be put it in the other way around. For the same mass and diameter, rim type will produce twice the mass moment of inertia than that of the disc type. And hence, obviously, a rim type is the most preferred choice over the disc type for a flywheel. That's it. Hope this video helped you. If so, support the work by liking this video, sharing it to your friends, subscribing the channel and 
hitting notification bell icon thanks for watching take care bye